The massive plant fire in Columbia County is now out as officials and residents now look to start cleaning up after that massive blaze. The smoke and flames affected the entire area, forcing officials to keep people indoors and avoid the soot landing all around that part of the region. The all clear has now been sounded. People can go back out. We start our team coverage tonight with Chris Gloninger, who has been in Ghent pretty much all day long covering the plant inferno. Hi, Chris. Hi there, Greg. As you mentioned, a lot of the restrictions have been lifted. You can go outdoors. You can use the air conditioning and open up the windows. Postal Service is now back on track. They did delay a lot of the deliveries due to the fire in the affected area. Keep in mind, if you do have respiratory problems like asthma or emphysema, you want to take precautions if you're near the area because every time you get a gust of wind, there is the smell of smoke in the air. Uh, they also reopened Route 9H, and that allowed some of the homeowners back in. And we're with Dimitri Basakalis, who is one of those homeowners. And Dimitri, when you were here last night, when did you know something was wrong? Around 10:15, we heard the sirens. We're about ready to go to bed. I said to my wife, "Let me just check. Open up the curtains." And there it was TCI on fire. Just the black smoke was bellowing. So I said, "Let's go. Get dressed. We're going. We're leaving." Come out here. There's just black smoke rolling around the house. We took off with the car and went up, up to the back road, up Opost Road where we watched it and it was just there was several huge explosions a couple hundred 300 feet in the air just huge I mean they're just massive I mean just the, they rock the heat you could feel the heat from just from putting your hand out the window you could feel the heat and the sparks it was very tense uh, at this point you were allowed back home and you have a cleanup to do and, and kind of yeah. go over what we're looking at right now uh, this is the car they told me those there's no oily residue but i see oil on here uh but they're being nice they're going to come tomorrow and assess the damage and just see what they can do to clean up our yard and the pool any word yet who's paying for that cleanup uh, no not yet not as of night of no no there is not and that's one of the questions that we're trying to get for you is who is going to be uh, involved in paying for this cleanup because there's a car covered in soot here and a pool that's over there that is now filled with ash from the fire. Also, we learned from William Black, who's the OEM coordinator, Emer Office of Emergency Management coordinator here in Columbia County. He said two firefighters were injured in fighting this blaze, one that was treated at the scene one that was brought to an area hospital. Uh, his condition hasn't been released at this point. We'll try to uh, follow that as well as we go through the evening and overnight. The fire department remains on the scene. In fact, multiple departments waiting for hot spots. Those could last for hours or, or days ahead as they remain on the scene of the TCI plant here in Ghent. For now, we are reporting live in Ghent. Chris Gloninger, CBS 6 News.